Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Tristan from UTICO.ninja and what we're going to be doing today is we are actually remaking one of our older videos that um, honestly the sound quality wasn't great and the video wasn't great and it just was kind of a bad video. And I've been meaning to redo it for a while now and I finally had some time to sit down and do it. We have been very, 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 very busy over here lately and that's one of the reasons that there's been such a such a long delay between some of my newest videos just because we've been working with clients and customers and things like that. So I wanted to do a quick video for you today and show you how to do this. So let me tell you what we're looking at real quick. This is the finished product of what we're going to be doing. This is an Amazon store, which you can create through amazon.com and you can use this to sell your own products. You can use it for affiliates. You can use it for all kinds of different things. And I'm going to show you how to add this to a Weebly site. So this is the Amazon store itself. And you can see it's an A star dot Amazon. Oh, I guess you guys can't actually see that because it's covered. Yeah. So this is an Amazon page, right? And our Amazon store. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to take this page and we're going to put it inside of another website. And to do that, we're going to be using something called an iframe. Now, you use iframe for a whole bunch of different things. You can use it for YouTube videos. You can use it for a whole bunch of other stuff. And that's what we've used here. So let me show you how to do that real quick. All right, now here's our Amazon page. And basically there are two different ways to add HTML, which is the code that we use for a lot of these different things, to a Weebly page. And I'm going to show you the hard way first, okay? What you want to do is come over here and click on Theme. And down here in the lower left hand corner we have the option to edit HTML and CSS. Now if you don't know anything about editing HTML or CSS, I would suggest that you not mess around with this because option 2 is a lot easier and you'll probably be able to do it with what you want that way instead. But if you are comfortable with it, this is what you do. Click on it. And here we have it. Here we have all of our different files. We have everything here that we can edit and mess around with and do pretty much anything that you want. So that's how that part's done. Then just hit save when you're finished and you're good. Now we do have the option to do an auto preview down here so we can actually see what it will look like and everything else. And that's great and dandy. Again, if you're not familiar with this, I would suggest that you just leave it alone. This is also where you go to edit your CSS. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with CSS, basically what that is, it's things like, you know, menus that do things like this. It's your mouse over effects and so on. Now, here's the easy way to do it. If you want to add HTML to your page, just come over here to your basic elements, embed code, drag it, and drop it. There we go. The next thing you need is the code that you actually want to add to this. So we have our Amazon store right here. And this is normally set to 4,000 as far as the height of the box that we're going to be creating. I personally think that's way too big, so you can make it a little bit smaller and then just be able to scroll up and down. But I think that the thousand fits just about perfect in this particular setting. So we're just going to copy this, come back over here to Weebly, click on this, and paste it. Now I like to put this in the middle just so it looks a little bit prettier. And there we go. We just took this page and put it in this page. That's pretty cool, right? Now, one thing you'll notice is sometimes if you want to edit these a little bit, you know, normally you would click on it and then the little window would pop up and say, hey, how do you want to edit this? Like what we have right here. And you'll notice that this doesn't really work all the time over here. And the reason why is because you're actually clicking inside of the other website. You're clicking inside that iframe. What you have to do is you have to click just outside of it. And there we go. So you can edit this some more if you wanted to and so on. Easy. Now, as far as editing the CSS, if you want to edit things like your menus and if you want to edit all those other things, you can do that. But personally, what I think the easiest option is simply to go and choose a different theme. Now, for the most part, the themes are pretty customizable. You can pick the colors, you can pick the buttons, you can pick the pictures, you can pick all those other different things. But as far as their actual layout and the structure, that's not really something that you'd be able to personalize, at least using the normal interface. So when you're picking your theme, what I would suggest is not look so much at, you know, like the concept that's on the page, but look at how the page itself is structured. Here, I'll show you what I mean. So you can see here the structure of this particular page. We have a long menu up here on top as compared to this one who has its menu right there. And this one has a menu up over here and has the background and it has kind of a page effect to it with a background image. We have this guy over here. You can just kind of see these layouts. And these are the things that will be affected by the CSS. And these are the things that will be a little bit outside of the normal person's ability to edit. Okay? 
So what I would suggest, like I said, when you're first creating your blog or creating your website and you're trying to find a layout that you like, don't look at the picture, don't look at the colors. Look at where your menu is. Look at things like this right here where you have to click on this and that opens up the menu. I think this is the one that we're using right now. And things like that. Because those are gonna be things that you can't change. Now, if you wanna do your own custom themes, you can do this as well. You can click right up here on import theme or you come over here to custom and I guess it's still right there. And that way you can upload custom themes. So for example, there are a couple of websites that make premium themes just for Weebly, and they're pretty cool, and this is how you would add those. But we don't want to do that. But that is how you would edit and customize your HTML and your CSS within a Weebly page. It's also how you would add an Amazon store to your page. So. Aside from being something really neat, we're probably trying to figure out why we would want to add an Amazon page to this. There's basically two different kinds of people who would want to add an Amazon page to a website, and it's both essentially for the same reason. The first kind of person that would do it is somebody who is selling their own products and has set up their fulfillment through Amazon, which is a pretty handy tool and something that we're actually doing with one of my clients right now. And the other person that would do it is somebody who's doing affiliates. So for example, if you have a blog that's getting a lot of traffic and you want to start doing some Amazon affiliates with it, then you can create an Amazon store selling whatever product that's related to your niche. So for example, in this case, we're doing just video games. But if I were to do something targeted towards you guys, you know, my viewers, I'd probably do something like, you know, ergonomic mice and keyboards and um, I don't know, maybe some books on SEO and affiliate marketing and things like that. Now things that you guys would probably find helpful, those are kind of things that I would put inside that store. And then since I'm an Amazon affiliate, then anytime someone were to come in and purchase one of those items, I would get a small percentage of that amount, kind of like a finder's fee. Now there are a couple of benefits of keeping people on our website as compared to sending them straight off to Amazon. So for example, if we have all of our stuff right here, our user doesn't have to go to another page or doesn't have to go over to Amazon in order to find this information. They can get everything right here. We don't have to, we don't lose those customers, okay? And the other nice thing about it is if you are selling your own products, they're gonna see that this store right here is being powered by Amazon, and that does give you a little bit more trustworthiness, confidence when you're making these purchases because you know that purchase is actually going through Amazon.com and you know that that is a reliable reseller. And so that does make it a little bit easier. And not only that, but if you do have your inventory hosted with Amazon in one of its fulfillment centers, then this will also process everything automatically for you. You don't have to worry about uploading your sales at the end of the day and making sure that everything gets sent out. Everything goes straight to Amazon and then it goes straight out to your customer. And we're just removing some of those extra steps, you know, moving parts and the moving parts are the ones that usually break. So that's another nice reason to do it. Oh, and I was gonna show you real quick, if you wanna add a YouTube video to one of these pages, you can actually do the exact same thing. Uh, what you wanna do is you click on share. Well, so like, here's your description, right? Share, embed. There we go. And then here's the code. We're just gonna select all that with control A, copy it with control C, come back over here to our website. We're going to grab our code again. We're just gonna drop it down here. We're gonna paste that, center it, and there's our YouTube video. So that's another neat thing that you can do with this as well. Just in case you're looking for some other examples, and you can do the exact same thing with a Google AdSense ad or any sort of banner or anything like that that you'd wanna do. Or if you ever wanna add a widget, it's the same thing. We don't need that on our page. That's basically how it works. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, not anything too crazy. Unless of course you start getting into the code and then you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. But uh, like I said, for the normal user, that's not something you're gonna be super interested in. Mostly you just wanna do things like this. I think that'll do it for this video though. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I hope the quality is a lot better than the last version of this that I made because that really was pretty bad. I mean, it was all garbled. I had a terrible microphone and I put really loud music on the background. And honestly, it was one of my very first videos and I should have known better. But if this video has been helpful, please go ahead and give it a like. Uh, those likes and even dislikes actually help the video to rank a little bit higher so that way more people can find this information in the future and if you really like this kind of content if you just love the sound of my voice and if you're looking for more information on weebly websites and how to you know build a business online and that kind of thing 
then please subscribe. I try to release content every week. Uh, lately, that's been a little bit more difficult just because we've been really busy with our own customers and our own clients. And so we haven't had as much time to record and edit these videos. Believe it or not, editing one of these videos usually takes a full day, sometimes two. And that's time that we usually want to dedicate to our customers and to our clients and that. And so you can see that it, uh, it's a bit of an investment to actually make these videos. But again, that'll do it for me. My name is Tristan. I'm from UtahSEO.Ninja, helping to connect the dots between your business and your customers. I hope you have yourselves a great day. I will see you later. Have a great... Oh, I already said have a great day. Bye.